Hey everybody, welcome to Team Doobie Fitness. My name is Mike. Today we've got a special treat for you. We got my brother Brian. So it's gonna be double doobie. So watch out, this is gonna be an amazing workout today. Awesome, so, thanks for having me. Yeah, he's in from Colorado. We're going to a Kentucky game this afternoon. So today we're gonna be doing 25 second work, 15 second rest, 12 sets, and we're gonna be doing four rounds. First round we're gonna be doing curtsy lunge, single leg, stiff leg, deadlift with a lunge. So the curtsy lunge, we're just gonna start, take your right leg, step behind your left leg, and then kinda squat down a little bit. Just do it nice and slow. And remember, always to modify it to your level, but always remember that you gotta be challenging yourself because if it's not challenging you, it's not changing you. And then the single leg, stiff leg deadlift, we're gonna take our kettlebell, we're gonna do a single, hold this leg, lock, lock your knee, we're gonna go down, and then we're gonna do a lunge. So, single leg, step leg, lunge. Then we'll do the same thing with the other leg. We're gonna lock our left knee, we're gonna go down, and then lunge. So remember, don't forget to check in to Team Doobie Fitness. Then when you're done, don't forget to take your post-workout selfie, post it to the page. Remember, it's you gotta think, act, and feel like the person you wanna be. And always remember, it's what you do if you wanna quit that's gonna change you the most. So we'll go ahead and get started here, about 15 seconds. So a positive attitude and let's kick some ass today. Good job, you guys. It's nice and steady. You'll feel a little off balance, which is fine. That actually really activates the brain and gets those muscles working. And remember, we never say what we don't want. We don't say we're not in shape. We don't say we're not have good balance. We say we're getting in shape. We're getting better balance. Always say what you want. <laughs>
Awesome job. Those curtsy lunges, those are so good for your knees, for your hips. Because so many people, they're getting their knees replaced, their hips replaced. That one's just good for good knee health and good hip health. Get them stretching out, strengthen them. In a case you guys are wondering, we're twins. We just have to be like four and a half years apart. I think so. so. Yeah. It's like last night when we were out here, but like, you guys twins? He likes that from the old. Reason I got into fitness, always looked up to him. His work ethic, so it's fun getting here. It's awkward. What? Working out with him. What was it that inspired us, do you think? Things not coming naturally, trying to work hard. Work through that. Uh, good attitude. Uh, then seeing the results. It's just like, it was, I think it was the first time I watched a Rocky movie. Rocky Awesome job, you guys. All right, round two. We're gonna do break dancer, crab toe touch, plank up downs. So we're gonna be like in a plank position. Then you bring your left foot up by your right hand. Now, if you can't do that, just try and bring this leg as far up there as you can. We're just rotating. Then the crab toe touch, like right this. Take your right hand to your left toe, left hand to right toe, just like that. And then the plank up downs, like this, right here. 
And if you can't do that, just do your best. Remember, it's like a baby learn how to walk. Never get so focused on what you can't do. Do what you can. What can we do today to be a little bit better for tomorrow? And then before you know it, you're gonna be doing things that you never thought possible. And that's where so many people enter stuff like this with a fixed mindset and like, oh, I can't do this. Then they don't do anything, they give up, and then it's over. So always remember, do what you can do. Don't worry about your form. Don't worry whether you're doing it right. You just do it with a positive attitude. Think, act, and feel like the person you wanna be. And that's exactly how you become who you wanna be. And remember, when you're working out, we don't work out to lose weight. Weight loss will happen, but when you work out, you're gonna eat better. When you work out, eat better, you're gonna sleep better. Then you're gonna feel more comfortable having sex, you're gonna feel confident in your body, you're gonna have a lot of mental clarity, and then now you're prepared for life. You're prepared for whatever life has to offer. You're not doing those things, you're giving the world the worst version of yourself, making life more difficult than it needs to be. Every time I hear this song, pitfall. <laughs> yeah, put a plug in for sex. <laughs> yes, that's that's Awesome job. Becoming the best version of yourself. That's what we're doing. Not worrying about anybody else. Worry about yourself. Anytime, every decision you make, focus on what makes you feel good. Never choose to do things that don't make you feel good. Now part of it is your attitude. You can always find something positive in everything. Like if you're at a funeral, instead of focusing on the death, focus on the life. It's like a little mini family reunion that people get together who normally wouldn't get together. So make the most of those moments. We're all vibrational energy. And when you vibrate negative energy, Negativity destroys everything in its path. But when you're positive, positive outcomes are everywhere. Always seek, feel good and joy. And that's why working out is so important because it's the one thing that makes you feel good almost instantaneously. And there's thousands of benefits. Keep it going, you guys. Just focus on what you can do. If you can't go up and down, just hold a plank. Now let's say you can't hold a plank on the floor, you could get like a box and you could be in an elevated position. Remember, success is a progressive realization of your goal. So as long as you're taking steps forward, you're always moving forward. Ooh. 
Oh. Hey, feel that. And the key is just get your body moving. You're giving arms and legs to move. Let's make that body as active as possible. We can do anything. There are so many people just letting their bodies waste away. Just sitting there feeding it with a bunch of junk food, not exercising. Not even thinking with the mind, just wasting so much raw potential. It all comes down to the words you use. It's like so many people, it's like they've, they've expected so little of themselves their whole life, but that's what they're getting. When you expect a little, you get a little. We expect a lot, you get a lot. Let's go, you guys. Last three. When you start getting tired and it's burning, good. Keep moving. It's what you do after you want to quit that will change you the most. That's where strength and endurance and stamina are built. But when you're doing it, you, you, can't, you can't say this sucks. You gotta have a positive mindset. You gotta say, this is building the me that I want to be. When you're thinking about your energy or your vibration or your mood, think about it. If you have a negative energy, you walk in a room and you're making people feel uncomfortable. If you walk in with a big smile on your face with a positive energy, you're gonna light that room up with positivity. And that's so important. Because when you feel good and you're in that happy mood where you're just things that everything is working for you. It's because that's what you are designed to be, is a happy, joyful being. And you become negative because you focus your energy on the wrong thing. People get depressed and anxiety because they focus their thoughts only on something sad. You have the ability at any given moment in time to think about anything you want to think about. So if you find yourself thinking negative thoughts, have a list of like five things that you can instantaneously think about to channel your energy away from that negativity because everybody thinks they can only look at the negative. You could look over here where it's a positive. That's what you need to be doing. Train yourself to only think positive thoughts and that's the biggest game changer you'll ever see in your life. All right, you guys, round three. So we're gonna do a one arm clean squat press. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna cut up up here, squat down, press it up. So clean squat press. So we're going with the right, same thing with the left. And remember, work at your own pace. And then we're gonna do a squat jump halo. So we'll get ready about 30 seconds here. And always remember during the rest that we're always thinking about what we want. You gotta visualize what you want. You gotta imagine what that feels like and then be that person now. And then be thankful, have appreciation in your heart, be thankful in your heart. And then that's how you're gonna achieve the things that you want.
Nice. And always be proud of yourself. Be your biggest cheerleader, not your biggest critic. And believe in yourself. So you doubt yourself, you're giving yourself absolutely no chance. You can do whatever you set your mind to. And your life always works out for you. Everybody's always so upset or stressed out about stuff. But think back in your life, all that stuff you're stressed out about, it all worked itself out. Just relax and let it go. Good job, you guys. Remember, you start feeling winded. Big inhale, big exhale. More oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. Keep it going, you guys. Push yourself. You start feeling tired, push harder. Say, so stop giving up on yourself. You gotta push yourself. You can do this. You gotta believe in yourself. Think about what you want. Go get it. Yeah, it's like I just have sweat sloshing every other all the time.
Awesome job, you guys. Three more. So get up, do not quit, you keep going. Get as many in as you can get. Keep it going, Let's get it all together. Going, guys, ten more seconds. Let's go. Awesome job, you guys. Awesome job. You guys are kicking ass today. Whew. All right, round four. Fourth quarter mentality. That's where so many people fail because they didn't train properly. My brother and I, we both ran the mile in high school and we both ran a 434 mile. And it's like the bell lap. The first three laps, that's just getting the work done. The last lap, that's where it happens. That's where greatness happens. So we're gonna do mountain climbers. This is what we want. You may have to slow it down, or you may have to be like on a chair and do the same thing. And then we're gonna change things up with our burpee a little bit. We're gonna do one leg burpees. Now if you can't, just do regular burpees, but remember, I always have to challenge yourself. So one leg, bring it down, jump. Up. One's with your right leg, same thing with your left leg. Like in this one, if you have a chair or something like that, you may want to do it elevated to make that a little bit easier. But you're gonna really hit your hamstrings, and it's just good to challenge yourself once in a while a little bit. So remember, we're gonna work hard, think positive, we're gonna cheer ourselves on. And once you figure out what it is you want, go get it. Do whatever the fuck it takes and go out there and get it and don't let anybody stop you from getting it. When you're making decisions, if you're always making decisions to not do what you want to do because you don't want to upset somebody else, you've got to stop that. Do what you want to do because you want to do it. Always feel good and be happy and then your life is well on its way. So if you, the secret to life is monitor your mood. Put your effort there. Always discipline yourself to be positive. And don't be thrown out by life events. Because just because something happens, think of it this way, think of everything happening for your benefit. And sometimes you don't know what that is necessarily, but sometimes you get fired from your job, that's actually a good thing because it's opening the door for the job you're really intended for. If you're in a relationship, they break up with you, good. That opens the door for the next person to love you. Stop clinging on to things that don't benefit you. Stop trying to force things. When you force things, they don't work. Uh, 
So you got to push yourself. You guys, push, push, push. Fun, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be dig deep. Aim is temporary. Worth it. Now the pain of giving up, that will haunt you forever. But he's right. This pain will go away. The more pain you're feeling right now, the better your results will be. you guys no excuses you can do it don't see who you are now see who you're gonna be be that person right now in your mind push 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 stop being the victim you can get yourself out of every situation if you're positive we gotta stop treating everybody like they're a bunch of babies Rise up. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Got this. It's team dude. Let's do this together. guys let's go move your body make it move like you couldn't even imagine you're gonna feel so good when it's over your brain wants to quit long before your body will so just keep it going keep it going eight more seconds all the way through all the way through that finish line good 
Never give up before you've finished it. One more. Shit. Go, you guys, all the way through. Ten more seconds. <sighs> We're gonna do three. Awesome job, you guys. I fooled you a little bit. That's not quite it. We're gonna finish with three two minute planks. And here's the deal. If anybody drops, we all have to start over. We can't finish this until everybody's held three two minute planks. And if you're wondering how we're gonna know, that my IT guys install software that lets us watch what you're doing. So that way we can really hold you accountable. And now I'm just kidding, we haven't done that yet. But if we could, that'd be awesome. By the way, I really like what you've done with your living room. That carpet looks amazing with your couch. So, three two minute planks. In all seriousness, when you feel like you need to drop, think I gotta go just a little bit farther, a little bit farther, a little bit farther. Then you can rest, but then rest as little as possible. Try to max as much of that two minutes as possible. Sitting there, playing like this, doesn't do anything. People do this in the gym, so I can only imagine what happens at home, but that's on you. My job is to help inspire, motivate, and encourage you to be the best you can be, but I can only do that if you want to. There's nothing, this is nothing, I'm just sharing my experience with you, hopefully that it resonates and that you'll be inspired by it, but just if you're doing nothing, expect nothing. But if you're really pushing yourself, giving it your best effort, I promise you, you're gonna achieve results and you're gonna stick with fitness and you're gonna understand that weight loss is not a benefit. This is a little side effect. The thousands of things that it's gonna do for you, it's gonna take you out of harm's way. Your health is gonna be amazing. You're not gonna have your knees replaced. You can overcome disease. Your confidence, your spirit, your everything is gonna be so amazing. That's why we do this. We're not doing this, if you're doing this to lose weight, it's not a good idea. If you're doing this to be the best version of yourself, yes. So we'll go ahead, three two minute planks. We'll start here in about 15 seconds. You can do them straight arm, you can do them like forearms, you can switch to a side plank. Do you know what the world record is? 10 minutes. 10 hours and 10 minutes. Ooh. George Hood, retired military guy. Matt, I guess he's like 60, 70 years old. Something like that. When you're doing this, don't think about doing a plank. Think about channel your energy into something else. Think about something you'll be doing later today. Think about something fun. But don't sit here and talk about how negative it is or about how bad it is, because that just makes it worse. You don't look at the clock. Yeah, it's like time always goes by fast, except when you're in a plank position. This is how I take my naps, right here like this. I 
And when we're having dinner, we just sit in the wall. We don't have chairs. No, I'm just kidding. You never know if people take you serious or not. 30 seconds, you guys. Sun comes and sits on me. I had two people sitting in my back once when I was at E Town Summer Fitness. Woo! Job, you guys. I like to mix it up so you hit all the different angles. Yeah, I'm in a puddle over here. You guys remember, it's all about what you eat. You want 25 grams of sugar or less. You want to eat complex carbs, organic meats and vegetables. And then 25% of the time, if you want to enjoy some food that you normally think you shouldn't, do it. But when you do it, don't feel negatively about it. Don't feel guilty about it. So if you want a piece of cake, eat a piece of cake. As long as you're making the attempt to drink enough water, eat enough right food and exercise and sleep and get all that stuff going on, there's nothing wrong with enjoying a piece of cake every once in a while. But if every time you eat a piece of cake, you're like, oh, I feel guilty and it makes you fat, it will make you fat. Because honestly, whatever you think is exactly what you get. So if you have a goal, you gotta visualize, you're feeling it, then all you need to do is stop worrying about the goal, focus on the steps, but feel good. Feel good doing everything. The better you feel, the quicker your goal will become a reality. Let's go you guys, 20 seconds, all the way through. One more. I'm proud of you guys today. Come on, you guys, you gotta want it bad. Because every time you start something, you give up, then you give up, then you give up. How do you expect to get what you want? This time you're not giving up. Because you joined the right team, you, you're taking the right advice. Job, you guys. 50 seconds left. Let's go.
Ooh. You got it. I guess I gotta just like hypnotize himself. It's 10 hours, holy shit. Yeah, that's crazy. And you can't move. You have to be like, if you do this, if you, you have to be like straight the whole time. All right, you guys, let's go. 10 seconds, everybody up. Do not drop, do not drop until we're through. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Good job. Good job at home. I'm super proud of you. Way to work hard. Hopefully you enjoyed the workout. Don't forget to take your post-workout selfie, post it to the page. That's so important because, because you're doing that, there's somebody out there right now waiting to see that picture, waiting to hear about your success stories, to take action themselves. And that's what feels really good, is making yourself feel good, but then knowing that what you're doing is gonna help other people feel good. And I'd also like you to think of, right now, think of one person who you know could use this in their life. Somebody who needs that boost, somebody who could just, not that there's anything wrong with them, but just somebody who could use a little more positivity in their life and that little to help them get over that hump. I'd like you right now to send them a message and say, hey, you gotta try out doobiefitness.com. Just click on the link, take advantage of the free seven day trial. All you need is a kettlebell. Tell them to start with a 15 to 20 pound kettlebell and this will change your life forever. And then once they're in it, they're gonna be so appreciative. They're gonna be thanking you, saying thank you for introducing me to something that is so impactful. So remember this, the bigger we get, the more powerful we become and we can make the biggest change in the world. Let's stop letting the government take care of it. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's worry about ourselves. Let's worry about feeling good, being happy individually, because the happier you are, then everybody around you is gonna feed off that energy. And that, that's how we go out there and make a difference in the world. So in the meantime, you have an amazing day. I love you guys. Go make it happen.